Watch 2 News First at 4. We're working for you weekdays beginning at 4. Coming up, it's 4th July Eve, and we're talking fireworks safety, which Shriners Children's Ohio wants you to know. Plus, celebrating Christmas in July, what Bach Family Brewing has to offer this month. And the summer barbecue season is upon us. Details on a special barbecue cook-off that benefits our veterans. Your life, your city, live from WDTN. Welcome to Living Dayton. Well, good afternoon to you and thank you for joining me on this wonderful Wednesday. I'm Caroline Morse and welcome to Living Dayton. We're gearing up for that 4th of July holiday weekend with everything from barbecue cook-offs in Dark County and even fireworks safety for the whole family to practice. But first, Katie's in the kitchen. Hey, Katie. Well, hey guys, Rebecca from our place, a family owned root beer stand is joining me in the living Dayton kitchen. And what are we making today? That's going to smell so good today. We are making our ham breaded pork tenderloin. Oh, and I know it's a famous one on the menu. You guys are not going to want to miss this one. Sounds incredible. That screams 4th of July fun. We have so much fun straight ahead, but first we have your news and weather headlines. Good afternoon. Hey there, good afternoon. New information on a car crash in Xenia Township. One person is dead and another in critical condition. The two were thrown from an SUV that went off the road, hit multiple objects, went airborne, then flipped over. This has happened on Wilberforce Clifton Road about 8.15 last night. The Ohio State Highway Patrol says 27-year-old Love Phillips of Xenia died at the scene. A 20-year-old man was taken to Miami Valley Hospital. Two others in the SUV had minor injuries. That crash remains under investigation. New information about the man found guilty of causing a deadly school bus crash in Clark County. Hermanio Joseph's motion to delay his prison sentence while he appeals his conviction has been denied. His lawyers filed that motion along with a notice of appeal at the end of May, less than a week after he was convicted of involuntary manslaughter and vehicular homicide. The bus crash happened in August of last year, killing an 11 year old student and injuring dozens of others. Joseph is now at the state prison in Marion. His appeal is pending. Happening tonight, fireworks shows set to take place in Dayton, Centerville, Vandalia, and Enon, among others. Dayton's assistant fire chief says with consumer grade backyard fireworks banned in many communities, including Dayton, it's best to leave the red, white, and boom to the professionals. Dangerous. Even a simple sparkler can burn at over 2,000 degrees. And uh, it's not uncommon for us to see injuries, burns, and things like that around this holiday every year. So we want people to have fun, but we want you to do so in a safe manner. And the safest way to do that is to come on down and, uh, and watch the City of Dayton's Fireworks uh, Lights and Flight Show. Dayton's fireworks will launch from Kettering Field about a mile north of downtown. Spectators are welcome to bring chairs and blankets to watch. At 3 this afternoon, North Bend Boulevard, the pedestrian bridge to Deeds Point, and recreational trails along the river will close to traffic. At 4 p.m., Island Metro Park will close, including the bike trails and from to and from Triangle Park. Then at 6, parts of Riverside Drive and East Helena Street will become pedestrian only. Fireworks start at 10 tonight. Coming up on First Step 4, Hurricane Barrel carves a path of destruction, the damage it's caused, and where it's heading now. That's ahead on 2 News First Step 4. For more on today's top stories and headlines, you can find it all on our website, WDTN.com, or download the 2 News app. Now here's Storm Team 2 meteorologist Melissa Barrington with your certified most accurate forecast. Well, today we're once again experiencing that heat and humidity and a cold front is going to be approaching us th later this afternoon and this evening. As that happens, we'll see scattered showers and storms develop across the Miami Valley. Best chances will be between the hours of 3 and 9 p.m. Of course, there's those fireworks displays going on this evening. Not sure every all of them will get in without uh, any rain. Otherwise, tomorrow we'll be, once again be looking at scattered showers and storms as we look ahead to your forecast for tomorrow. This afternoon, though, a slight risk of severe weather across the Miami Valley. The biggest threat is going to be due to high winds. So tonight for Independence uh, night here, lots of folks here are going to be out and about checking out those fireworks displays. Temperatures dropping down into the upper 70s. Hopefully we are able to get most of those fireworks displays in with those chances of showers and storms. Your pl planner for the rest of the afternoon is going to be hot and humid. Today's high right around 91 degrees. Those winds could gust as high as 30 miles an hour. After today, we're looking at temperatures in the 80s over the next several days with chances of showers and storms through Friday and then once again next week.
shows will be lighting up the night skies all over the Miami Valley in the next few days. And if you're like me, I've already heard neighbors popping off some of those fireworks as well, gearing up to celebrate the 4th of July tomorrow. Now, before you do that, Shriner Children's Ohio has tips to make sure your family practices safe.